Greetings everyone, it's Alexor again. Today with a little bit of a different video because this is not about your classic Last Epoch or Diablo 4. It's another game, a new game coming. I mean, it's on Steam coming soon for a year now, right? But it's Titan Quest 2, okay? And I'm a huge sucker for Greek mythology, right? It's a huge thing for me. I always loved it. I love the, the style of it. I've been to Greece many times. Um, so it's it's just very lovely, and the, the whole god thing, the demigods, this whole mythology story kind of thing, super lovely. Now, I did never play Titan Quest 1, because back then I wasn't really that big into, into ARPGs as I am right now. So I have no, no history with this. I'm gonna go in new and fresh into this whole thing. So there was a... So why I actually bring this up in the video is... On August the, August the 2nd, I think, yeah, there's coming a gameplay trailer for this game, finally, okay, which we will watch then. But I wanted to sort of give you a first idea of what the game is actually about, what we know so far, and yeah, sort of the direction, and sort of watch it a little bit with you guys together. Now, the screenshots look absolutely amazing. Um, if you look at the, the graphics... Really good. It reminds me a lot of Diablo, not in a dark fashion, but in a more more bright fashion. And I like this a lot. I said on, on the stream yesterday that I hate that ARPGs are always so dark. I know most people actually like that. I do not, because I actually enjoy these beautiful, beautiful sceneries, right? It doesn't always have to be dark. And Last Epoch is actually good with that, because it's not all dark all the time. They also have brighter areas as opposed to like Diablo, which is always red because it's always held tight, right? Um, so I like seeing this in an RPG. Um, from the looks of it so far, it looks like pretty much any other RPG. I don't think it's gonna re like revolutionize the whole genre. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's just a completely new scenery for the first time or for a long time, I should say. Because I think Titan Quest 1 is like 10 years old, I think. So it's great to finally see Something new coming from that. See this dude just leaping at him. That's like the primalist, right? So we're actually gonna watch this trailer, the announcement trailer, together. Sparta, eh? Tell of war like Sparta. Fate destined them for godlike greatness. But the gods had other plans. Oh, damn. Their ambition angered the goddess. And winged retribution showed them no mercy. Staining their strands with darkness. But don't cut it short. Tell us the whole story. Tell us about hope. So, if we're being honest, it looks a lot like the Diablo 4 storyline, right? You have that 
that too powerful evil lady, right? How do I get out of full speed? Thank you. That too powerful evil lady that is like Lilith, right? Over here, just with that, that thingy that is sort of jealous. In this case, she's jealous uh, about the Sparta, Spartans, how great they are and how much ambition they have, so to speak. So she's come, coming down and destroying all this. Classic gods being, Greek gods being jealous about humans and demigods is a, is a classic theme, right? So anyway, that was sort of the storyline and I'm already super hyped for that because I like this a lot. The, the, um, the cinematic didn't even look bad, right? It's not on Diablo levels, but Last Epoch doesn't have any good cinematics, right? So this is actually kind of cool to see this again, to get some, some lore in there, some storyline. Now, let's, I don't going to read all this because there's a lot of stuff. Um, basically, what the idea of it is, it is a classic top-down ARPG game. <clears throat> they say a modern yet traditional take on combat. That's an interesting one. So it's not going to be like, um, what's it called? Uh, no Rest for the Wicked, which I like. I'm not a fan of that at all. I, thought, I know it's new and different. I don't like that playstyle personally. So it's going to be way different. So I think it's actually going to be very simple from the looks of it, or from the sounds of it, as they, they write it down here, to Last Epoch and Diablo 4. Just a classic point-and-click um, adventure, RPG game. And the key thing, though, is we, we already know what weapons we will have, right? So you have the swords, spears, daggers, classic, you have two-handers, two-handers, even staves. So there are also we don't know what classes will be in there, but... Um, from the looks of it, especially with the one screenshot with the lightning, there will also be some sort of sorcerers or mages. Now, what I personally hope, and I don't know if we will get this, right? I have no idea. Probably not, but it would be cool. And they would be missing out a lot if they don't use it in this game, is if you can get some sort of demigod powers from the, from the gods, right? From the Greek gods. If you as a character can get some godly power from Zeus or whatever, or I don't even know, from all these gods... Even from the dark ones, it would even be cool if you could choose between sort of the good gods on the Olymp, right? And the bad ones, like with Hades, Hades for example. Um, that would be cool, getting pulse from that. I don't think it will in, be in there. Maybe in some sort of um, seasonal event, whatever. But what, I would like that. That would be cool. So we're definitely also going to have some sort of mage. Um, the classic thing, potions, armors, uh, torso, rings, amulets. Nothing really crazy. We all know this is one one dude dual building, so we also will have this. Now, this is an interesting part, by the way. <clears throat> These weapons and armor come in six broad categories, which can be combined with masteries to create a wide variety of styles. I like this already. This is what we want, right? This is last epoch all over again. If you have 15 different masteries and different styles to build your character, that is just very awesome. Stylists are determined by attributes. There are three offensive character attributes, a supporting defensive attribute, and three secondary ones. So these are these, right? Might. Good for powerful, aggressive stars using heavy armor and weapons. Unlocks damage-related skill modifiers. So I guess what I would think is here, you choose one of these attributes, or like you can choose a bunch of them, and it sort of elevates your existing skills because it has damage or like it says skill modifier so you can make your existing skills better with the attributes you choose and you can for example go with might godly might i guess so you can use heavy armor and weapons you have knowledge that's more tactical minded and scholarly so we have mages for sure scale or utility related so i guess you can buff your your fireball up like a lot right agility that's classic that's like your rogue quick eyes and reflexes uh, speed related skills yeah Vigor governs health and tenacity as well as overall capability. Sometimes it's enough to be tough. So that's just the tank, right? Vigor is just the tank. I wonder if you could make like a tanky sorcerer. There's my sorcerer, by the way. That would be cool. Resolve. That's a secondary attribute, so you can have two at least, right? Yeah, you can choose one and a second, yeah. Fueled by your might, knowledge, and vigor. So this is just something I guess you can use with this. People with extraordinary determination show great ability to bend the arcane powers of fire and ice to their will, as done by elemental warriors and magi. Magi. Magi? I don't know. Magics. Magic. Magicians. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, that's your mage. Your sorcerer. And um, it only says fire and ice, which is interesting, because we saw lightning in that screenshot. 
So I guess going to be the same, free as always, nothing crazy. Again, I don't think they're really going to re revolutionize things and having absolutely crazy new things. This looks to me pretty much like exactly the classic point and click ARPG, but it is set in the <clears throat> in the Greek mythology, and I like this a lot. This alone will be enough for me to play it. Cunning. Pulling from knowledge, agility, and vigor, this is a secondary attribute that gives success to both assassins with poison daggers and druids controlling the weather. Um, I think it was John yesterday on stream who said, if they don't have sand towers, this game fail already, right? And now imagine you can be a druid that can turn into a sand tower and then shoot like lightnings or fireballs. That would be amazing. I hope they add this to the game. That would be really cool if they do this. Fitness, a combination of agility, might, and vigor, with obvious advantages for anyone who wants to deliver physical pain. Yeah, so that's basically just your, your warrior, right? So it's kind of cool you can mix these together, and thus, it's not going to be like insanely new masteries just from that, but you can mix these attributes together so you get a better variety of what you play. So you can basically, with fitness and like knowledge, you can probably make a um, like a spell blade, right? A mage that can also fight. We'll see how how deep this actually goes, or if it just adds a bunch of different stats to the character, or if it actually also adds new abilities or new ways to play the character. We'll see how this plays out. <coughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much just the explanation again. Uh, you can respec. Yes, this is obviously very powerful. It just looks like the classic, classic Greek warrior. And then we have, of course, affixes on your items. So again, it's the same thing. But apparently there was heavily defined by rarity. Weapons, side depends. It's base stats and properties. Yes, number of affixes differs based on rarity. I mean, that's just the same thing as always. Really custom. Role. Yeah, that's just, we know all this. There's nothing crazy. Um, I was just checking if I remember from reading it earlier. No. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all we know so far. So it's it's been very quiet about this game. They, I think this trailer was actually released a year ago, so probably you may have already s seen it. By the way, this looks so good, man. This looks just so good, like walking around these things. I need a better GPU when it comes out. <laughs> um, so yeah. They just have been very lacking on actually giving us more updates. I hope they hype this game up more. Because Aaron said it's supposed to be, by the guesses of him, supposed to be coming out later this year, probably in early access. Um, damn, I just don't have time to play all these games. Path of Exile 2, Titan Quest 2, Diablo 4 expansion. Last Epoch has all their, their things going on. That's four games already, man. Fuck. Anyway, um... So yeah, this looks really cool, looks really good. Again, it looks like the classic, old, traditional point-and-click. Man, this looks so good. Man, look at this. Can I make this bigger? Just look at the screenshot. Does this game not look absolutely beautiful? I mean, I hope it also comes out like it. This might just be, like, might not actually look like it in the end game because this is probably going to eat a lot of power. I'm gonna, okay, I can't get out of this. Feels bad. Steam, please. Please. But it looks really good. Let me know what you think of it. I mean, the looks of it are so great. And nothing crazy again. Just a classic point-and-click standard ARPG by looks of it, which is totally fine. Not every game has to completely re revolutionize the whole genre, right? It's not really necessary. This also looks good. Are these pets? Uh, we know this. Oh no, it's an enemy. Shit. I was hoping you could actually have this yourself. It's an enemy. It looks cool though. It's an enemy to fight it. Also this. That's just, just some very cool things, man. They have some cool ideas. Look at this. I hope they can really bring it all in. It looks a lot like a um, God of War RPG kind of thing. And it does look really good. And by the looks of it, if you already have these kind of screenshots, right? And already animated creatures... There should be some gameplay you can show us, right? These are some sort of water creatures, huh? Just looks very cool. Also, the sanders look really good. Really good textures. 
So, um, it's Leonidas, eh? Kinda. They're gonna have Mons, I guess. Sparta, obviously. I hope we also see some other um, city states, not just Sparta. I mean, Sparta is the classic. We always see that. That's Lilith, eh? With the scales, huh? What goddess have, has the scales again? I don't remember. Anyway, it just looks really cool as a game. I hope they can just keep it simple. Not make anything too crazy to try to revolutionize the whole thing. Just have a classic good ARPG with classic point and click things, classic weapons and all that. The attribute system is cool. It's just a nice addition. And just make it look good and be immersive. That's really what I want from it. So you are in, in the game a lot. So yeah, let me know what you think of it. If you like this, if it looks good to you, if you're super hyped, this was actually recommended to me by someone in the comments, I believe, on stream. I'm not sure. I didn't even know about this for quite a, while, quite a while, but it looks so good. I'm already a sucker for it. So let me know what you think of it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good time.